it's a, a few questions about um, how animals and humans communicate between each other. I thought this was quite fascinating. We always want to communicate with animals. It's like the dot to do little thing. It's a massive drive. I think that was not the motivation for Dawn Chorus, but I wanted to unlock some of those secrets a bit in terms of our language and you know, communication of birds. But there are instances where birds and humans in the wild do communicate. As a classic example of the honey guide bird in Mozambique in Africa. Now that these birds exist quite a lot over South America, South Africa, and their favorite food is honey. But they're too small to break open and extract the honey from its, from its, its uh, comb, its case, which is usually embedded in a tree. So they use notes to attract humans' attention to these nests, these bees' nests. And this alerts the humans to the location of honey. And honey has historically been a very, very prized and sought after rich nutrient for humans throughout the ages. So if humans know where there's honey, they will go and find it. So the humans listen to the bird, follow the bird. The bird shows them where it is. The humans go up to the tree, get the bird out, get the, 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 the um, bees nest out and they break it open. Now the humans take the risk of being stung and they're powerful enough to break open the, the, the honey's, the, 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 birds, the bees nest, sorry. And then the birds come in and they can feed on the honey. So uh, recently they looked at some of the communication between the, the humans and the, and the bird. And there exists a sort of cultural relationship between this bird where they actually speak to the humans and, and ask it to come. And the interesting thing about that bird is it's like a cuckoo. And I don't know if you know what a cuckoo is. It's a brood parasite bird. It doesn't have its own nests. It lays its eggs in other birds nests so th that bird doesn't have a, a parent the same as it so it grows up with adoptive parents so it can never learn this behavior from another bird so how does it do that and that's one of the amazing mysteries about how birds and animals communicate it kind of finds a way of doing that it recognizes there is there is a, a need or a, a use for humans somehow